Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm doing 10 cards, one kit with the My Monthly Hero July 2018 card kit. So we're doing all 10 today, so we're going to jump in and get started with card number one. Now in the stamp set, there's a little ticket. I'm going to ink that up with my VersaFine ink on a piece of white card stock. And then using my stamp platform, I'm going to shift it just a little bit and line it up right on top, leaving a little bit of a gap. We're going to create a row of tickets. So I'll just wipe off my stamp platform and scoot it up and just continue on until I create a ticket strip. Okay, next I'm going to add a little bit of gold, well a lot of gold embossing powder. I thought it'd be fun to make some gold tickets. I'm just going to go ahead and melt that. Something different than the typical black tickets. <laughs> Now once that's melted, we're going to color it in. This month the kit came with two reactive inks. There's a red one and a blue one, and I thought those would be perfect to color in those tickets. So I'll just add a little bit to my glass mat, and then using my water brush, I'm going to color in my little tickets. Now I'm going to alternate the colors. I'm going to start off creating a blue ticket with um, red accents and then I'm going to alternate it, making a red ticket with blue accents. And you can see that the, the reactive inks work so well with water. Easy peasy to color in. I'm just going to finish up my tickets, and there we go. I think it looks really pretty against that gold embossing. Okay, now we're going to do some more stamping. I just trimmed that down using my paper trimmer. Um, oh, I did add a piece of gold cardstock. I'm just going to use my tape runner and adhere that to the bottom. Just to give a little bit of interest. Next, I drew a line on my panel where I wanted to stamp this um, silhouette of an amusement park. And I'm, again, using a VersaFine ink. And then I'm going to grab the little hot air balloon in the stamp set and, and I'm going to stamp that as well. I thought instead of keeping the silhouette black, I thought it'd be really fun to use the gold embossing powder for this as well. So I'm going to grab a piece of scratch paper, top it off with some gold embossing powder, and I went ahead and heat set that. And I think it looks really pretty. Okay. Now the hot air balloon needs a little bit of color, so I'm going to use those same um, reactive inks. I'm going to start off with the blue and add a little bit of color to my balloon and then I'm going to dab a little bit of ink, red red reactive ink, and color in the rest of it with some red, which is not really red, it's more like a fuchsia. Um, so it turns a little bit of a pink color. <laughs> so my balloon kind of matches my tickets. Okay. I'm going to trim down my ticket here. And this is on a panel. Actually, I didn't even tell you the size of the panel. It's four inches by five and a quarter. So I'm going to pop up my tickets with some foam tape and then I'll place that on my panel. And I didn't put a sentiment for this card because I thought the tickets would kind of make their own little sentiment. Now I'm going to use, well, I was. Gonna, well, yeah, use my tape runner and I'm going to adhere that to a standard A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. It's a side folding card base. Lovely. And then I thought, well, we'll add a little bit of detail to this. So in my stash, I have some blue and white baker's twine. Um, I just tied a single bow to the left um, on that gold cardstock. And then for some finishing touches, I'm going to grab some gold stars. For my sequins dash, just three of them. Using glue, I'll attach those to my card base. And that finishes off card number one. Here's a close up. Okay, now for card number two, I did go through my pattern papers and found this diagonal stripe paper. It's black and white. And using the diagonal stripes as a guide, I just trimmed off an edge. And then I'm going to trim off the top portion. I'll just take my tape runner and adhere that to my panel. Now this panel size here is three and a half inches 
by four and three quarters. And then now we're going to do some stamping. I already stamped the happy birthday using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And then in the stamp set, there's three balloons. There's a star balloon, a heart balloon, and then there's also a regular balloon here. I'm going to stamp those right next to my pattern paper. And then I went ahead and colored them in using my Copic markers. Next, I'm going to take this, um, it's an MFT Flourish. And I just attached that to my sentiment. I die kit it out with some silver cardstock. I attached it to my sentiment and then I'll pop my sentiment up and then I'll place that on my panel. Just to add a little bit of detail there. Now I'm going to grab some smaller silver stars from my stash and I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle with my little stars. And I'm just going to attach them with my glue. Yeah, I think that looks so fun. Now I'm going to attach this panel to my card base. Right in the center. Lovely. And that finishes off card number two. Okay, for card number three, we're going to do some stamping. I decided to use the roller coaster. I thought it was so fun. So I'm going to pick it up with my acrylic block and ink it up with some VersaFine ink and stamp that on some white cardstock. And then I'm just going to take um, some bright color Copics. I'm going to start off with a yellow and then I'll go in with a pink and finish it off with an orange to color in those little flags. And this does come with a co coordinating die here, so I'm going to die cut that out. And then I also die cut out the sentiment that says enjoy the ride. I just trimmed it down with my paper trimmer. Now in the stamp set there comes um, this border stamp and it's an L shape and so I thought I'd make a frame with it. So I'm inking it up with the red reactive ink. Now with this ink the more you stamp it the redder it gets. So I stamped it quite a few times and then I'm going to flip my panel over and I thought it would line up but it didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to scoot it over, stamp it, and then trim it out. And there we go. That's our going to be our panel there. Next in the stamp set there's a strip of stars. So we're going to add some stars. I'm just going to stamp it on a piece of white cardstock here with the blue reactive ink and then I'm going to trim that strip down. Next I'm trying to figure out my placement here but I'm going to pop this panel up with some foam tape and place that on my card base before we arrange the rest of it. Okay, now I'm going to add my little star strip to the bottom of my panel. And then taking my sentiment, I'm going to fishtail the ends, just using my scissors. Okay, I'm going to add some foam tape behind my sentiment and then I will place that right above the stars and then I'll place my roller coaster right above my sentiment. Now I want to add a few more stars so I'm going to take that strip of um, that star stamp and I'm going to cut out two stars. I figured the stars would be easier to put back together if I wanted to create my border again. I just stamped two of the stars and then I wanted one more so I'm just going to take a piece of the release paper from the fo um, foam tape and stamp one more. As a, I used it as a mask. I added a little bit of sparkle with my sparkle pen and that completes card number three. Okay, card number four. I already colored in and stamped my Ferris wheel. I'm going to die cut that out and then we're going to add a little bit of color on this panel. Now this panel here is four inches by five and a quarter. I'm going to be using Picked Raspberry Distress Oxide ink just to do a little bit of shading. Okay, once we have that done, I'm going to add some water, create a little bit of interest on that background, and then I have this MFT um, rounded frame die. I cut out a little frame here and I am going to pop that up with some foam tape. I'm just cutting out thin strips and I'm going to place that along my frame and place that on my panel. Now I'm going to use the roller coaster again so I inked it up with my VersaFine ink and I'm going to stamp that towards the top right in the center of my frame. And 
and then I'm going to use the sentiment in the stamp set that says you make the world go around and I'll use my VersaFine ink for that as well now I'm going to grab my Ferris wheel that we colored in and cut out earlier I added some foam, t uh, foam squares behind it and I'm going to place that right in the center above the sentiment now in the stamp set there was this little firecracker explosion I added one of those in the left corner and then you can see here I did color in the um, the other part of the sentiment that was hollowed out I believe it's world yes and then I just placed that panel on my A2 size card base for a little bit of sparkle I'm going to go around the little seats on my ferris wheel with some Nuvo white blizzard glitter drops and I forgot to color in the flag so I'm doing that real fast <laughs> the white blizzard is like a real pretty iridescent glitter so it's gonna dry nice and sparkly and I'm gonna go around the world too, give the sentiment a little sparkle then I'm gonna add a few drops here and there and that finishes off card number four now for card number five I, this this beautiful background die came with the um, hero arts kit and I wanted to use it and so we're gonna do some ink blending with some distress oxide inks I'm gonna first take my pencil and kinda draw around the circle and then also on those little beams that are um, coming out of it I'm gonna trace around those this way it gives me a guide on where to place my inks Next, just using my blending tool, I'm going to start off with some squeezed lemonade and I sped this up really fast and then I went in with some twisted citron and I'll finish it up with my broken china. I thought those three colors would blend really well together and I like the outcome. Next, I'm going to take the die and I'm going to run that through my die cut machine and I'm going to be careful to leave all the pieces in. Now I'm going to flip my panel over carefully and then I'm going to grab my glue. I'm going to go over the negative pieces that are in my die cut here. And then taking a piece of black cardstock, this black cardstock measures four inches by five and a quarter. I'm centering it on my die cut um, background. And then I'm going to carefully lift up the positive portion of my um, die cut image. I want to make two cards with this. And so this was a neat way to do that that piece kind of wants to get lost. <laughs> Once I have that peeled up I think that's going to create a great background but that's going to be for my next card. So we're going to finish off with this card so I'm going to take the positive panel and then I'm going to add some real thin pieces of foam tape on each of those little rays. That one we're going to save for our next project. But I want to pop that up making sure my my foam strips are really thin now this background die will cover your entire card base it's four and a quarter by five and a half which makes it really nice so I'm just gonna place that in the front of my card base and I think that looks really pretty okay now I already stamped and colored in the carousel and it comes with a coordinating die so I cut that out and then for my sentiment I use the sentiment that says you make the world go around and I did color in the world with my um, turquoise colored Copic markers. I'm just going to pop up my carousel and place that right in the center. Finishing touches, I added a few sequins and I'm going to top them off with some Nuvo White Blizzard Glitter Drops for a little bit of sparkle. And that finishes off card number five. Card number six is easy peasy. We already have our background, so I stamp the sentiment that says hello. I heat embossed it with white embossing powder and now I'm going to pop it up with some foam squares and place that right in the center. Lovely. Now I'm just going to directly adhere this to my card base using my tape runner. And it's going to fit a little bit shy so it's going to leave me a little bit of a white border. Now I did add a couple drops of Nouveau Simply White Crystal Drops 
and then I did do some faux stitching on those black areas. Now we're already on to card number seven. Okay, I'm going to do some stamping here. Now um, I stamped the sentiment that says enjoy the ride and then I did the silhouette of the amusement park and then I did do the fence down there on the bottom. We're going to create a little scene here. Next I'm going to take the little firecracker explosion and we're going to stamp a few um, a few here and there. I'm going to put one towards the bottom there and I'll put one in the top left corner and then I thought I'll add one more but I didn't want it to hit my sentiment so I'm going to grab a piece of posty tape and then I'm going to stamp half of a firecracker explosion right below my sentiment. It kind of made the sentiment pop a little bit, kind of like that. Okay, next in the stamp set there's a cute little um, airplane that has a banner and so I'm going to grab that and stamp that with my VersaFine ink as well. Now I skipped this part but there's two sentiments that fit in there and there's one that says welcome and then there's another one that says um, hello there. So I stamped hello there in there but I added clear embossing powder to everything and then I die cut out my little airplane. So it's nice and shiny. Now I'm going to go over my panel. I want to create a little cloud background with the blue reactive ink and it's a beautiful color and it it blends beautifully. So this is a MFT um, mini cloud edges die or stencil sorry but um, I created some clouds in the background and then I'm deepening the color behind my um, my amusement park there with some posty tape and I want to pick my posty tape up and tape it off and then go over the bottom portion with the red reactive ink and you can see here how um, it really looks fuchsia <laughs> really pink but I like those two colors together I think it looks really pretty now I'm going to color in the banner with um, some of the red reactive ink very lightly so it matches the bottom color okay and when I did that one it was a lot darker <laughs> so I decided to make another one so I'm going to do the whole process again. I'm just going to stamp it and then I'm going to add some more clear embossing powder and stamp the sentiment that says hello there and then add some clear embossing powder There we go. And then I'll go ahead and melt that. And then die cut out another one out. When I die cut out that first plane too, it was kind of, wasn't very even on my die cutting. <laughs> okay. Just going to run that through the die cut machine. get rid of the old one and then we'll color in this new one and this time we'll make it lighter to match that bottom color. I think that's going to work out a lot better. Okay now we're going to flip, oh you know what? I want to add some black splatter so I'm taking some black soot distress ink, add a little bit of water and using my paintbrush I'm going to splatter some black droplets on there. And then once that dried, I flipped it over and add some foam tape behind there and also behind my little plane. And I placed that in the center of my card base. I'll remove the release paper off of my little plane and place that right above my sentiment. Now I didn't want to add any more to that. I thought it was busy enough, but that finishes off that card. Okay, for my next card, we did a lot of stamping. Two hot air balloons, one carousel is it no one ferris wheel one little snack bar and then the roller coaster and then the sentiment that says come one come all 
Now I'm going to color all of my images in and I went ahead and used the coordinating dies to cut those out. Um, for my sentiment I just trimmed it down with my, my paper trimmer and then I fishtailed the ends. Now I'm kind of arranging how I want my little scene to go and I think this is going to look really nice. Okay, so I popped everything up, placed it on my little panel there, and then I have a strip of the diagonal stripe paper. I'm just going to cut it in half to make it a thinner strip, and I end up using that second strip later on too. But I'll take that strip, use my tape runner, and attach that to my card base to the left side, and then the excess of, um, that's overhanging I'm just going to trim off. And then I'm going to grab a piece of white cardstock and I wanted to add a little bit of color. So using the same green Copic marker that I used for um, the green in my little scene, I added some color to um, the left side of that paper strip. And I believe it was YG13. I'm just going to attach that to my panel and then I'll flip my panel over and pop it up with some foam tape and place that on my card base. And of course we got to add a little bit of shimmer, so I'm going in with some more of the Nuvo um, White Blizzard Glitter Drops. And that finishes off card number 8. Now for card number 9, I wanted to use those tickets again, so we're going to stamp 6 of them. And I wanted to color them some very bright colors. So I used some bright greens and pinks and, and oranges and turquoise and then to add a little bit of detail I'm using my white gel pen and now we're ready to build our little scene so I cut out a panel here that's three and a half inches by four and three quarters and this is where I use that strip of stripe paper um, this sentiment here is actually from my stash um, it says happy birthday to you and I just stamped it on black cardstock and heat embossed it with white embossing powder now um, I pop that up and place that on my panel and now I'm just going to arrange all my little tickets. Some are adhered directly to my panel and then some are popped up but I do have to trim the bottom portion of it because um, I, I that foam tape was covering the entire, I didn't have no room to tuck. <laughs> but I think that looks really fun just kind of all wonky on top. Now to give this a little bit of something I'm going to go in on the bottom with some black and white Baker's twine, just tie a bow to the left and then I'll pop this panel up with some foam tape and place that in the center of my card base. Added a few drops of glitter and then that finishes off card number nine. I think that's a fun one, fun birthday card. Now for my final card today. I'm going to use the roller coaster on a panel here. This panel is three inches by four and a quarter. I'm going to stamp it towards the top using my VersaFine ink. And then there's one sentiment that I haven't used yet, so I chose it, the one that says, I'm here for you through ups and downs. This is a little decorative strip that has little polka dots inside, and it's the width of the roller coaster, so I'm going to stamp that right below it. And then here's where I grab my sentiment. Now in the stamp set there's an arrow that says here on there. I'm going to stamp that three times. And then just using my Copic markers I'm going to color in my arrows, the little flags, and then also the ups and the downs. Just to bring in a little color down there. Okay, now I'm going to flip my little arrows over and add some foam squares behind there. I placed my, I did pop my panel up with some foam tape and placed that on my card base and I added my little arrows on the top. And I did use a little bit of glitter too. I went around the roller coaster track and then that finishes off card number 10. So here's a look at all 10 cards that I made today with the My Monthly Hero Kit. I hope this gives you some new, I love that turquoise, I think that turned out so pretty. <laughs> but um, I hope this gives you some ideas, some different ideas on how to use the kit. 
um, I had fun using this kit and the kit did sell out guys I I personally get the monthly subscription so it's delivered to me automatically and that way I don't miss out when they do sell out but um, I'll leave a link below for you in the description area and also if you'd like close-up pictures and still shots you can visit my blog I'll leave my my links down there um, down below as well but I hope you enjoy these cards um, I, I like I said I had fun creating with this kit but if you're new and want to see more hit that subscribe button and I thank you all so much for your wonderful comments I wish you a fantastic day and we'll see you again soon bye bye